Having extensively used the Ampro 2 and the Nufi Air 60, I felt the urge for something even better. Following numerous hours of thorough research into superior pre-built keyboards, I concluded that it was time for a change. Allow me to introduce to you my very first custom keyboard. Before getting into the nitty gritty of this build, you're probably asking, why would I build a custom keyboard if I can just get a pre-built one? The answer is simple. It's like building your very own PC. It's tailored to the way you want it, from the form factor to the switches and the keycaps. Forget plug and play, and let's delve into the world of custom keyboards. When deciding on the parts, I aim for seamless integration with my setup, while prioritizing on Bluetooth connectivity for effortless pairing with my MacBook. After thorough consideration, I settled on the GMK67 in white, a budget-friendly keyboard kit that has all of the bells and whistles I was looking for. Its widespread popularity within the community made the decision even more straightforward. The most difficult choice of all are the switches. There are three kinds of mechanical keyboard switches. Linear, tactile, and clicky. They all have their own distinct sound and feel. I offer the KTT Kang Whites, which are linear switches. The switches offer a gentle actuation and would highly recommend them for beginners looking to build a first board. To top it off, I have a set of white MSA profile keycaps. Keycaps come in different profiles and materials. You'll find OEM profile keycaps on the majority of keyboards. Here is a diagram of the different types of keycaps that you can get. You will find OEM profile keycaps on the majority of keyboards. As for material, I would recommend PBT keycaps rather than ABS, as PBT keycaps are far more durable. This keyboard looks and feels amazing. Even though the case of the keyboard is made of plastic, the typing experience is second to none. The flex on this keyboard provides a bouncier typing experience, and going back to the Nufi Air 60 and Ampro 2 feels lacking. Now for the sound test. Bear in mind I haven't modded it in any way, so this could sound far better with some modifications. The GMK67 features tri-mode connectivity, meaning you can connect via Bluetooth, 2.4GHz, or a wired USB connection. I can seamlessly transition between my MacBook and my Windows PC with a flick of a switch. For those who are a fan of RGB, I've got you covered. This board has south facing RGB LEDs and 20 preset RGB modes for you to choose from. Just check out some of these lighting options. For more RGB options, you can download their software that I have linked in the description below. The keyboard is on the budget side of things, and I've managed to acquire all of my components for under 100 euros. I snagged the GMK67 on discount for 35 euros on AliExpress. If you are lucky, you can likely get it for 30 euros, though prices may vary based on your location. The KTT Kang Whites were also purchased on AliExpress, and they sent me back 15 euros. If you're on a tight budget, then I would recommend these. The white MSA profile keycaps come in at 31 euros on Amazon. However, you can find keycaps for as low as 15 euros on AliExpress. In total, the keyboard set me back 81 euros or just under 90 USD. I'm delighted to have finally built my first custom keyboard. And I must say the experience has been incredibly rewarding. From researching components to overcoming challenges during assembly, every step of the journey has been a learning experience. The GMK67 has truly exceeded my expectations. And if you're considering diving into the world of custom keyboards, there is no better time to start. Thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And if you're interested in keyboards, don't forget to check out my video on the Nufi Air 60.